Randomization is an important part of video game sound design as it provides sonic variety without heavily burdening the game system. In this project, we have some sounds already imported. We have the wizard's ice gym blast, which will be followed by the whoosh of the wizard's staff, and the magical chime of the gem recharge. But we want these sounds to be accompanied by the sound of an ice gem falling on the ground and breaking apart. Here are a few examples. In order to make the sound less repetitive, we'll make use of randomization. Randomization in WISE is accomplished in two ways. It's either done through property randomization or object randomization. Let's see how this works for this particular application. Property randomization in WISE is very straightforward. We'll use it to randomize the pitch of the ice gym breaking. Right now, each time it plays, the pitch is identical. To randomize a property, simply look for a property where to the left it has a property randomizer icon. In this case, the pitch property. Double click the randomizer icon and a window appears. Click the enabled checkbox. Now you'll notice that the randomizer icon turns orange, indicating that randomization is being applied. Now we need to set minimum or maximum offset values. The min value represents an offset from the core value. Since this is a pitch property, the values are expressed in musical sense, where 1200 cents equals one octave. We'll use a minimum value of minus 200 and set a maximum offset value of positive 200. This means that the pitch could play just a little bit higher or lower than the source's original pitch. Close the window. Now, each time we play the gem breaking sound, we can hear how the pitch has been randomized. In order to randomize the selection of the sound, we're going to use something called a random container. We already have five examples of gems breaking already imported as standard sound SFX objects. Start by selecting all five of these objects. Right click and then choose New Parent and then select Random Container. We'll name the new random container object Gems Breaking. The five sounds we had before are now inside this object. We can see this by expanding the gems breaking object to reveal what's inside. When the gems breaking random container is selected, the transport control focuses on that random container. Clicking play, we can hear that each time we play, it's randomly choosing one of the five objects within. You do have some control over how randomization sound selection is applied. With the gems breaking random container selected, we can look over at the random play type area and see that the standard option is selected. This means that each time the object is played, the entire pool is available to be randomly chosen from. Shuffle will randomly select one of the items, but it won't repeat until all of the objects within the random container have been played through. You even have a checkbox to avoid repeating the last certain number of objects from ever being played in a row. Now that you have the hang of it, let's speed up the workflow. In this version of the project, we only have the gym blast, whoosh, and magic sounds, but we still need to bring in the sounds of the ice gems hitting the floor. To do this, right-click the default work unit and choose Import Audio Files. Instead of clicking the Add Files button, we'll click the Add Folders button. This is because the sounds we want are already contained within this Gems Breaking folder. Select it and then click the Select Folder button. A dialog window appears indicating that the Gems Breaking folder will be represented as what's called a virtual folder. They're used purely for organization purposes, but we can change it to say Random Container. And then also notice the audio files contained within will automatically become sound SFX objects. Click Import. Now we can see the gems breaking random container is created. And if we expand it, we see the audio files are in fact sound SFX objects. Now, if we click on the gems breaking container, 
we can now go to its pitch property and click the randomizer icon. We'll enable it and then we'll enter in our min and max values. Now, when we play the gym's breaking container, we can hear that each time it plays, it's randomly choosing from one of our gym breaking sounds within, and it's also automatically randomizing the pitch. So in a very short time, we're able to create a lot of sonic variety for when the gems break apart as they hit the ground.